Afternoon all, I just thought I'd give you a bit of a brief update saying it's Christmas and Merry Christmas to everybody, I'll make sure it's a safe one um, but uh, just this little turntable plate, uh, I pulled it all apart uh, sorry I was flat out, I couldn't take a video of it but um, I noticed a few cracks in it, so which is uh, uh, a little bit concerning but I've repaired the cracks as you can see uh, and put some stiffening rods across the um, across the frame um, I decided to replace it's been two years so I decided to replace the main bolt um, so this is the original bolt that came out of it so again it's an M30 by 150 bolt and it's got a braking strain of 40 ton and what I was interested in was the wear around the top um, so but as you can see it's nothing substantial um, so Overall, the system's lasted really well. Uh, I haven't got too many um, too many issues with it at all. Uh, the only thing is that um, obviously uh, next time I design something, I'm going to make the the actual turntable out of the um, the PFC parallel flange channel that I've used on this situation here, either a lot stronger or go back to the old ball and coupling. Um, because obviously it's designed a lot stronger. So uh, I have, I'm yet to decide which way I want to go. Um, but the, the amazing thing was the I put a new bush in up here, up inside here, the um, ultra-high-density um, um, polyethylene. Um, spun a new bush and whacked it in there. I've actually used the same nut, uh, the same collar, same everything. And as you can see, I've just thrown a new split pin in it. So, um, but uh, generally speaking, I was actually surprised how little wear there was to the the polyethylene. Um, so it just gives you an idea of how strong the stuff is. Uh, it's lasted really well. Our, uh, our top plate up here, it's still got the original material in it. So the thickness has not worn at all. If anything, inside the turntable, it was actually clear. But just to go back, um, the design that I've, the, the learning that I've got out of here is the top part or the web of the actual PFC that I've used is just not thick enough. And one of my mates, Benny, when I first uh, built this thing, made the comment that he felt that, uh, it, that it could lead to a problem. And so, yes, it has. But... Um, the whole structure was still very much intact. It was just that I wasn't happy with the, what the, the cracks that I'd saw. The one that's down to the bottom edge of the, um, that's down here, uh, was only just a very, very hairline crack, and I couldn't even see it on the other side. Um, but yet, yeah, we ground it out and whacked some weld in it just to make sure. So, um, but this is only a, just a, a really a temporary repair until we actually get to, um something else changed because yeah i'm not happy with it that's one thing that i've learned through this whole process but with r d you have successes and you have failures um the other thing i did was i uh shortened the draw pull on this uh, which is the next full next video